Hi everyone, and welcome to Space News Network. SpaceX Update will be a weekly video series where we report everything SpaceX. So let's get started. Our first story happened on August 1st, when we got an update about the Commercial Crew Program. From Reddit user, and I'm sorry if I butcher your name here, Soldado Phantasma on the SpaceX Reddit page. And we got a lot of great information from that post, but in my opinion, we got two really good pieces of information. And that is that there are four Crew Dragons currently in production, and that NASA astronauts have completed their first pressure test while wearing SpaceX's flight suits that they have designed. We don't know what the suits look like just yet, but I'm certain that they look amazing. And if you guys want to find out more about this, I'll put a link to the actual Reddit post uh, down in the description. Next up, we got an update about Elon Musk's talk at IAC this year. If you don't know what IAC stands for, it stands for the International Astronautical Congress. And it's the same place where Elon unveiled the Interplanetary Transport System, or ITS, last year. And we finally got a date for when Elon is going to be giving his talk. And that date is going to be September 29th. We don't know the exact time yet, but all we know is that it will be sometime in the afternoon. Next on August 3rd, and oh man am I excited for this one, because we got three different core sightings. And uh, I'm sorry if I butchered your name again. User Zuckel posted on the SpaceX Reddit page asking for help identifying the cores. And we were able to conclude that this first core wrapped in black plastic, as you can see here, is core 1036, which launched the Iridium 2 mission in July. People are speculating that it is back at Hawthorne to undergo refurbishment to be reflown sometime in the future. And the last two cores were spotted at the same time. And these two are a little harder to figure out, but we believe that the core on the left side is core 1029, which launched both the Iridium-1 mission and the Bulgariasat mission. And the core on the left is core 1032, which launched the NROL-76 mission. Again, none of this is 100% confirmed, but just looking at the soot patterns, we're able to identify the cores pretty accurately. And for our final story of the week, SES announced on August 4th that the very next satellite they launch, which is SES-11, is going to be flown on a reused, or as SpaceX likes to call it, flight-proven first stage. This will be the second flight-proven booster that SES has used, the first one being the first ever flight-proven first stage to launch, SES-10, back in March, and is speculated to use Core 1031, which launched the CRS-10 mission for NASA. All in all, it's been kind of a slow week when it comes to SpaceX news, but hopefully we'll have a lot more stories for you guys next week. This is the Space News Network, and we'll see you next week.